what's going on guys, welcome back to your watching Yum's Crooked and today we're back in the Grindelwald revamp with another Greenville car reviews. Today's car being the 2020 Overland Combat Combatant or whatever. Now this thing is meant to resemble the 2020 Jeep Gladiator in real life. And the way I have this thing built is in the trim limited in the color Gator clear coat with the limited rims. So a quick walk around on this thing. This is um Jeep's newest pickup truck that was released, I believe, back in 2019. But hopping into this thing, the um, startup sound isn't too bad. You can't really hear it, but rev it. Revving it isn't too bad. Let's take a look at your lighting. You have brake lights, turn signals, reverse lights, running lights, headlights, and turn signals in the front. So, the lighting isn't the most detailed, but, um, I could deal with it. Now, getting off driving, thank you guys so much for 300 subscribers. We are growing so fast, and you guys are just absolutely amazing. Thank you guys so much for 300 subs. It really means a lot to me, but let's take a look at your horn. The horn, is, the horn isn't too bad. Let's try and get up to the top speed here. I was going to do a special for 300 subs, but this video was already scheduled to upload um, today anyway, so I wasn't, I'm not going to do it. 400 and 500 will have special, so. Top speed on this thing is 121 miles per hour, or 196 kilometers per hour with a 6 speed transmission and braking. Braking isn't too bad. Acceleration, we're gonna put it into drive. And get my timer ready. Three, two, one, go. All wheel drive, as expected, in a pickup. 50 and 60. So about 13.15 seconds, which is probably the slowest car we have ever worked with. But now let's try and get it in um, sport mode. Three, two, one, go. 30, 40, 50, and 60. So about 8.06 seconds. Now, one of my biggest complaints I will say about this thing is the amount of body roll it has. As expected in a pickup truck, it is going to have body roll but I, bel I feel like this thing is just excessive. It is a little bit much, but I don't think any other um, pickup trucks have this much body roll. So, that's one of my biggest problems. Again, top speed 121 miles per hour with six gears. And honestly, for, um, your fuel goes down quite a bit. I don't remember what it was at when we started. It, it could have been at max. I don't really remember. Because I, I think I do remember driving this thing before I recorded the video. But yeah, there is a... Oopsies. There, it does take up quite a bit of fuel expected in a pickup truck. But yeah. I do love the lights. Um, the running lights around your... Uh, Jeep circle headlights, which are on also on the Wrangler, and I think this color just fits this Wrangler super well. So we're gonna leave it there, hop into the dealer, look at the different ways you can get this thing configured, and either look up Overland or click on that. If you click on the if you click on the um, tri um, <laughs> brand name, it'll be like the eighth one from the top and like second from the bottom. <laughs> I made that so confusing. So the only way you can get this thing configured is in the limited trim with the limited rims and it is $60,000. So that is quite a bit of money, but you do have some fun colors like red, orange, and blue. 
And I do think the blue looks pretty good on this thing, but I do like the more rugged colors on this thing, I will say. Either way, um, nothing really too special about configuring this thing except for the $60,000 price. There is no game pass you have to get for this thing, which is also good. With that said though, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did smash the like button, please consider subscribing. Thank you guys so much, so, so, so much for 300 subscribers. I'm also getting a new mic soon. Go join the Discord server, I'm Scarred Fan Server, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.